Good day, good day! How the honk are ya? This is your friend Dan-O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today. All right, all right, all right. Welcome to a one-off Wednesday. What a special one we've got for you today. Uh, first things first, on a one on Wednesday, make sure you give me a big thumbs up, uh, subscribe and share, and uh, then come on over to Facebook, over there, I always point over there to Facebook, and join us on Roverland Facebook page. Alright, so we got a little uh, something here that's going on, and uh, I, uh, yeah, it's kind of a one of, and uh, yeah, something else. Um... Let me start with uh, last Saturday, our last uh, unboxing Saturday. Uh, I was excited. I opened up a box, and uh, I had purchased this little bugger, and uh, I'm kind of putting it back together the way it was. Of course, the uh, vehicle was inside, but uh, what I thought I was buying... Uh, was a disassembled and uh, no, why isn't this going in there? Anyway, a disassembled Corgi Collections uh, Land Rover, and I just can't quite get that uh, glass. Uh, it has a oh, there it goes. And uh, yeah, so I showed the box and everything on the thumbnail and everything, and there's a nice little set here. And, uh, matter of fact, this came from Pennsylvania, PA, uh, Merchants, uh, Merchant, Merchantburg. And so, anyway, so, uh, I thought that was pretty cool. It was like, uh, 10 bucks, so, uh, I bought it. And I thought, well, you know, we'll go ahead and put it together. And, uh, during the video, I pulled it out, and, uh, this was all disassembled and, and everything, and, and uh, I pulled it out, and I'm like, oh, yeah. Uh, look at what we got. And, uh, oh, yeah, look, it's yellow. Uh, oh, yeah, this is probably uh, one of those uh, airport, uh, uh, you know, models. It's a 43rd scale, uh, 143rd, I believe it is, something like that. Uh, yeah. And I, you know, just unboxing it, I didn't realize and didn't, you know, register in my head. But um, <laughs> this is not, this is not a Corgi casting. And uh, Ralph and a couple of other people were uh, like commenting and stuff. It's like, hey, man, um, ma mainly Ralph. Thanks a lot, Ralph. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I had to take. I caught on later on once the video was done rolling and uh, everything, but uh, yeah, dude, this is a Matchbox Super Kings K144. This is the Frankfurt Yellow, um, uh, what is it, uh, Super Kings um, Escort Airport Rescue. And so then I, yeah, so then I open up the bag, which comes with all the parts and everything, and I, I'm like, oh, yeah, so let's just kind of take everything out. Here's some little, little bits and pieces there, and uh, here is, uh, here, oh, here's the uh, mechanism that it works. That's kind of neat to see that. Um, so anyway, so I got the base out, and I'm like, hey, that's pretty cool. Let's take a look at the base right side up and sure enough matchbox super kings It's the Land Rover 110 made in Macau and uh, Yeah, so <laughs> Oh, yeah, it even says there k144 So I'm like, okay, well, that's kind of neat. Well, I guess we'll uh, and, and my first original thought was, you know, I got this. The, uh, the paint's been stripped off. It's been disassembled. Looks like they did a fair job uh, drilling out the three rivets. It, it tabs in the front here. And um, looks like they did a fair job. So I was just going to make a custom out of this bugger. 
And uh, so then I went over to the shelf and uh, I got, uh, this is what I got on the shelf. This bugger right here, loose one. I've done a video on this too. And you can see where the uh, little things, they got little spotlights up there and a little strobe light. Nice black and black checkers there with the Frankfurt Frugenhofen um, decals on the side. Very, very nice. They're nicely done decals. Uh, they're not the envelope stickers. Uh, this one happens, I don't think this is original. Maybe it is. Yeah, I suppose it could be. The uh, markers are uh, back markers. Anyway, so this is one I have loose. Uh, I bought it on clearance <laughs> for $15. So, you know, I thought that was pretty good. Now, uh, nice little chrome wheels. Um, somewhere along the line, I bought this one. I believe this was on eBay as well. I'm not really sure. I can't remember. $12.95 was the sticker price there. I don't think that's what I paid. But, uh, yeah, nice vehicle it is uh, in the box but the box is not sealed uh, so this is kind of the same thing you know so uh, pretty pretty darn toot and cool I don't know yeah anyway so here's the back if you want to freeze frame that and you can read the rest there uh, talks about uh, the switching on the lights and stuff that's pretty awesome talks about what this is and that is and such and so forth. So, spare tire wheel, rear spare wheel, excuse me. All right, so I'm like, oh, that's cool, man. Yeah, so um, I got two of these, you know, chrome wheels, nice, beautiful condition. Even the loose one is uh, really nice condition. So then I went back to uh, my uh, project here and I'm like, oh no. Have you guys noticed it already? Yeah, we're gonna zoom in. This is got red wheels on it. So let's do a little quick breakdown. So this uh, Matchbox Super Kings, the K144, uh, came out from 1987 to about 1998, or thereabouts. Well, um, this particular model with the chrome wheels, with the Farfanugan, the Frankfurt, uh, those ran from 1989 to 1990. Okay? So, what we have here is the, I guess, first edition, which came out in 1987 and 1988. So it's like, oh yeah, snap. I can't make a custom out of this because I don't have one of these with the red wheels. And uh, so between, so so this one came out in, in this livery, the Frankfurt uh, Furfenhagen there. And then there was another model that was yellow, but it said Heathrow Airport on it. I believe it still had the checkers on it. And, uh, oh, I, oh, I don't remember if it had the chrome wheels or not, or the red wheels. But then it, then it came out in this year. And then later on, there was one afterwards, too, um, that was, oh, now it slips my mind. But there's, like, only four of these models uh, out there, four different variations. I think the last one I is a, uh, a veteran's... Uh, Veterinary service, yeah, yeah, and, and that might be uh, even a limited run for for uh, something special, you know. But still, kind of, a, I don't know, would it be code code B or code something? I'm not really sure much on that. But anyway, so the point is, I've got to restore this. So one, I've got to find yellow paint. And, and so we're going to find some yellow paint. Shouldn't be that hard to do. Uh, the biggest thing right now that I'm going to do and hold on is I have to find some decals. So I'm going to be doing some research and searching for decals. So 
On this one on Wednesday, we have the first edition of the Frankfurt um, Airport Rescue that we're going to restore. So uh, hold on tight. I think I got all the parts and pieces. It looks very nice. Uh, like I said, they did a very good job um, drilling that out. So I'm going to have to find a different size drill and tap to do that and, uh, and uh, screws to put in there. So I've got a little work, but I wanted to get on 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 here and tell you guys, uh, yeah, I I <laughs> I noticed my um, surprise. Um, I am I disappointed? I mean, like I said, it was like ten bucks. Um, yes, I wanted a corgi, uh, but hey, I got this beauty here, and it's something that I don't have. So I'm happy. I'm happy. So, all right, that's it. We got to get out of here. Thank you for joining me for a one-up Wednesday. Uh, make sure you, yeah, make, give me a thumbs up. Come on over to Facebook. And, uh, yeah, get on out there. Happy hump day on a one-up Wednesday. And remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.